welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a shop with me and also a haul. I did go to Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, and also Marshalls, and I picked up quite a few things, so I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I purchased from those stores. This video is also gonna be in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Christine Pena. Now Christine does so many different videos over on her channel. Not only is she a mom, but she does decor videos, cleaning, lifestyle, and also DIY videos. Now, we have collabed before. This is our second collab together. Our first collab was a cleaning video. If you guys have not seen that collab yet, I will link it down below for you guys to check it out. But this time around, we decided to do a shop with me and a haul. So if you guys are not already subscribed or familiar with Christine, please head over to her channel and show her some love. Let her know that I sent you. She's also a mom. She does a lot of cleaning videos on her channel. She does hauls. She also just purchased a house and I'm so excited to see how she decorates because she always does such an awesome job when it comes to decorating her home. So I'm super excited to see how she decorates her new home. Please remember to head over to Christine's channel and show her some love and see where she went shopping and all the items that she purchased. And if you are coming over from Christine's channel, then hello, welcome. My name is Jillian, I'm a stay at home mom and I enjoy doing a lot of different videos here in my channel such as cleaning videos, hauls, shop with me. I do a few vlogs and DIY. So if you guys are into any of those types of videos, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel and joining me and my YouTube family. So first I will show you guys my shop with me at Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Okay, so we just pulled up to Hobby Lobby and I am now going to run in and see if I can find anything, see if I can find any great deals. I'm not sure if they still have that 66% sale going on. I'm crossing my fingers that they do because if they do, I'm probably going to grab a few things. And then, like I said earlier, I am going to run into Marshalls as well and hopefully I can find the things that I want for Marshalls. I want a basket for underneath my coffee table to store all of my little throw blankets and then I'm looking for a cute like picture frame or some type of artwork to go on one of the walls downstairs and then anything else that I find would just be bonuses so let's head into Hobby Lobby and see what we can find.
everything that I purchased from Hobby Lobby first because I only picked up three items from there. They were having a really, really good sale. They had a 66% off and then I believe 70% off sale. So all these items I got for either 66% or 70. I don't know if it was 70 or 77%, but I know it was in between 66 and 70%. So this is the first one that I picked up. It's a sign that says home, it has wood all around it. And I just loved the style of it. I do have a empty wall right when you walk into my house from the garage. So I was thinking about placing this sign there and then putting some picture frames underneath. And this was originally $30 and I believe it rang up as $13 or $14. Now the next item that I picked up from Hobby Lobby is pretty big so I'm going to try my very best to fit it into the frame. So it says this is our happy place and I don't know why I just fell in love with this beautiful piece so i'm thinking about putting it on our empty wall that's right in front of our front door there's a huge wall that's just empty so i'm thinking about placing it there but i don't know i just thought that was really cute and this was originally 50 dollars, and i believe this was one of the pieces that was 66 percent off so that is the second piece that i purchased hopefully you guys can see it well it's really hard to get into the frame 
And then the last item that I picked up from Hobby Lobby is this piece. I thought this would go really cute in the middle of my coffee table. I have like a wooden tray that has a candle inside, but it is a little empty. I needed something else. So I thought this would be cute to put in. And then I'm going to put some greenery or flowers inside. So this is the last piece that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And this was originally 18 and I believe this one was also 66% off. So those are all the items that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to move on to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'll show you the clothing items that I picked up first. The first thing is going to be this dress that was $16.99. Now I'm pretty tall. I have a really hard time finding dresses that are really long to the floor, like maxi dresses that are long, that do not shrink. So I'm hoping this doesn't shrink because I did try it on. It's a really good length on me. So it's just gray and black. And then it has like a little V cut in the front. And it's just a very long maxi dress, like I said. And it's a really good length on me. So I'm really hoping that after I wash it, I'm not going to put it in the dryer. I'm just going to hang dry it. So hopefully that will not shrink because I really love how it looks on me. It's really flattering and loose. I thought it would be perfect for the summer. And since that first piece was from Marshalls, I'll just show you the last two things that I purchased from Marshalls as well. The first thing is going to be this Chi Keratin Flex Finish Hairspray. And they had the larger bottle and I was going to buy the larger bottle, but I did not know if I was going to like it because I've never tried it out before. So I figured I would just get this small one that was only $2.99. And then if I liked it, then I would go back and get the larger one. So this is just like a finishing hairspray that I picked up. And then the last item I picked up from Marshalls is this dry shampoo and rose petal. They had a bunch of different scents. I know they had like a lavender scent. I think they had like some type of like vanilla scent. They had a lot of pretty floral scents as well. I went with the rose petal one. So I've never tried this out. This is by the company Perlescence. So I'm not sure if it's going to work well or not, but it was only $6.99 and I'm always looking for new dry shampoos. So I'm definitely excited to try this out and see how it works. I'm obsessed with anything rose scented. So that is why I went with the rose one. Okay, so that's everything that I bought from Marshalls. Now moving on to TJ Maxx. I bought this really cute off the shoulder shirt. It's like a jean color and I love the sleeves. It has like these little ruffles on the sleeves like that. And then it just goes off the shoulder like that. And it's a really good length as well. So I just picked this up because I thought it was a really cute shirt to go with maybe some white shorts or white jeans. And then I picked up my son this really cute shirt. It was only $4.99. My son's obsessed with dinosaurs. I found this shirt. It's just blue and it has a bunch of random dinosaurs all over it. And it has a little pocket in the front. And I showed it to him and he fell in love with it. So I grabbed this. This is by the brand Free Planet. Never heard of them, but I thought it was just a really cute shirt. And for $5, why not? So I grabbed that for my son. Then the next item that I purchased is for the kids. Since it is summer, we have been going to the neighborhood pool a lot. And they don't have any like huge blow-up ride-on toys to play in the pool with. So I found this one. This is called a Realistic Sea Turtle Ride-On. And my son fell in love with it. It was only $13.99, so I picked that up. And then it has like two handles right here that he can hold on to and ride on in the pool. It does look big enough for both of the kids to fit on. So I thought that both the kids can ride on that together and have fun in the pool. So that is the next item that I bought from TJ Maxx. And then I believe there's only two other things. Yeah, the only two things I have left are baskets. So the first basket is this one. It's a really large gray basket. And this basket was, how much was this? This basket was $14.99 and I just needed a large basket like this to go underneath my coffee table to store all of our little throw blankets. I needed somewhere to put them in because right now we just throw them over the couch. So I thought this would be a cute idea to just put all the throw blankets in and then when we want a blanket to hang out on the couch, we can just pull this out from underneath the coffee table and all the blankets will be in here. The last item I bought was another basket and it's this basket. It is white and gray with these cute little handles and I want to put this in our laundry room to store a few things. So I thought this would be really cute just to put in the laundry room. This does not have the tag on it. It does. It was missing the tag, but I believe this was like $5.99, $5.99 or $6.99. But yeah, I'll be putting that in our laundry room. 
Okay guys, so that was the last item that I purchased from TJ Maxx. So that's going to conclude my Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls shop with me and haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini haul. I didn't buy too many items, but I did find a few cute things that I thought I would share with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed today's haul. Also, please remember to go head over to Christine's channel, see where she went, check out the items that she picked up and show her some love, let her know that I sent you. And as always, if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Join me and my YouTube family. Also remember to turn on your notification bell so anytime I do upload, you will be notified that I have uploaded a new video. And also give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.